Wow, is that a lot of energy? I have a lot of fun making these intros. Welcome to the studio. My name is Loyal and I'm the host of The LM Show. We are a 3D printing channel on Twitch and most recently, this YouTube channel. You are looking at the Taz Sidekick 747, an FDM 3D printer by Lulzbot, which happens to be one of my all-time favorite machines. From the packaging to the unboxing and setup of this machine, you can tell that Lulzbot is working to make 3D printing not only attractive to those of us who already own and use 3D printers, but also for those where this might be their very first 3D printing experience. There is just something about this Lulzbot green and black combination that not only looks good on camera, but looks absolutely beautiful in person. Over 50% of this machine is printed in Polymaker Polylite PETG. From the parts joining the 20 millimeter extrusions together, to the main board enclosure, the belt tensioners, filament holder, and more. All of this 3D printed in the Lulzbot 3D printing farm, carrying on the open source RepRap legacy. Before we get too far, let's talk about tool heads. The Sidekick series is designed for quick change tool heads. Authentic Lulzbot tool heads, as well as third party design tool heads, like this one from our friends over at IT Works 3D, make switching between extruders, hot ends, nozzles, and filament types all too easy. Three thumb screws, an electrical harness, and a simple interface change is all that is needed to adapt this machine to whatever your project demands. The build plate is about 231 millimeters square with a PEI surface over borosilicate glass. Now, what does that mean? It means that the build volume is about nine inches cubed. The PEI surface is going to provide superior adhesion and the chemically enhanced glass won't shatter or excessively expand or contract because it has an extremely low thermal expansion coefficient. Lulzbot uses quality authentic components in all of their machines. The Sidekick is equipped with LDO motors on each axis, an auto switching 24 volt 350 watt Meanwell power supply, as well as a genuine Ant Clamps BL Touch for bed leveling. Lulzbot manufactures all of their machines here in the USA. In fact, there are only a few states to the east in Fargo, North Dakota. With the default SK175 tool head, the hot end can reach temperatures of 290 degrees Celsius. And with the max build plate temperature of 110 degrees Celsius, you'll be able to print PLAs, PETGs, ABSs, ASAs, nylons, and even polycarbons if you have a proper enclosure. With the SK175 tool head, the default configuration of the Taz Sidekick 747 comes in at 1,285 USD at the time of filming. With this machine loaded with genuine and authentic components, manufactured here in the USA with quick change tool heads, I think that's a fair price. Lulzbot, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to send this machine over to us for us to learn about it and uh, show it off to our viewers. I have a simple goal when it comes to content creation, and that is to simply invite as many people as I can into our passion, into our hobby by making 3D printing fun. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below because I'd love to hear from you. I have a live show on Twitch and I'd love to see you there. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 5 p.m. Pacific over at twitch.tv slash loyalmoses. We have a fun time in this studio where we geek and nerd out about all things 3D printing. If you haven't been there, it's gonna surprise you. We'll see ya. Uh, 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 nailed it on the first try. Uh, uh.